Hey everybody, we finish up 1 Timothy today. We're in 1 Timothy chapter 6 as we walk through the New Testament together. I'm just looking to SOAP a verse. That SOAP is an acronym. I've said it before. It stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. And the whole concept is to find a scripture in its context and that really speaks to you as you study or read through the Bible, and then observe what's going on around it or what's going on with that scripture. Apply it into your life, apply the principle or the idea into your life, and pray for God to work it in your life. And today, is, as uh, Paul finishes up with Timothy, he has some instruction regarding money at the end of this letter. One of the verses that is hugely valuable for all of us especially in our current context, is verse 6, where he tells him in 1 Timothy 6, 6, godliness with contentment is great gain. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Not, not about how much more you want or how much less you have or, how, or whether you've gained enough money in your life or whether you're looking for more money to accomplish. He says, no, no, no. Be careful when you look in your life and want more. Because oftentimes the word more brings with it things that are ungodly and certainly discontented. But when you have godliness, the righteous lifestyle that you need to have, just like we talked about over this last book, and contentment with what God provides you, it's not that you won't gain more. You actually gain a whole lot more because you'll be more satisfied with what you have. You'll be wiser with how you use it. You'll be honoring to God in your lifestyle, that's the godliness piece, and that contentment will bring peace to your soul. So when you're struggling with peace, or you're looking for more, or you're hungry for uh, additional acqu acquiring experiences, or wealth, or power, whatever, you're at risk of losing your own peace in your soul. Godliness with contentment is great gain for your life. And then he goes on to say, for the love of money, not money, but the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Realize that the, when the more word starts entering your spirit, evil tends to attach itself to it. Now that doesn't mean having more makes you evil. But what it means when, is when you focus on more, you'll be attracted to the things that Satan uses to get us off track. Paul is accurate. Let's look to be content. In fact, that's really the whole point of this passage is not about money or about its power or control of our lives or giving to the Lord. That's just giving to the Lord should be our nature, our desire, not something we resist in order to acquire. And Paul is telling him, you need to find contentment in your life. And when you have contentment with righteousness, there is power in that that gives you great gain. In fact, as a church leader, as a pastor, as a leader in your home, when you can have the right lifestyle, righteous lifestyle, and be content with what you receive from God, what you make in your career, what you're gaining and using properly in your home, you'll find great gain for your home as well. You'll find peace and harmony in your family when there's contentment and righteousness in our behavior. I think that would be a great verse to teach and to grow with as a family. Let's not think about more. Let's not go into debt trying to get more. Let's not use and misuse the resources God gave us. Let's find ways to be righteous together and to be content together. And by doing so, we'll live within our means and find greater peace in our homes and in our lives. Good word for us today. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 6. God bless you as you continue to grow your righteousness and your contentment, because with it comes great, great gain from the Lord. We'll see you again next time. Have a great day.